Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The highly trained soldiers of the Grand Army of the Republic, known as Clone Troopers, were some of the fiercest warriors in the Star Wars galaxy. Clone Troopers were specifically bred for war and, at the time, represented the future of galactic warfare. However, since these troopers were clones that were manufactured, what kind of presence in the Force did Clone Troopers have? For starters, let's talk a little bit about the clones and their creation. Sometime before 32 BBY, Jedi Master Sifo Diaz foresaw an upcoming conflict that would potentially gripped the entirety of the Galactic Republic and contacted the cloners on the planet Kamino, who are known for their clone hatcheries, so he could secretly task them with growing a clone army for the Republic. Diaz personally commissioned the Kaminoan Prime Minister, Lama Su, to create an army of clones and pretended it was a request of the Galactic Senate. Shortly afterward, Sifo Diaz was killed by the Pike Syndicate at the behest of the Sith, resulting in the Sith's takeover of the clone trooper project. Darth Sidious's apprentice, Count Dooku, then recruited the bounty hunter Jango Fett to become the genetic template that would be used to create the clone army. Various modifications were made to Jango Fett's genome so that the clones would grow faster and would be more susceptible to following orders. Growth acceleration modification in the clones allowed them to mature in half the time it took a human to reach maturity. Fett's genetic structure was further modified to make the clones less independent and more docile than their template. Additionally, the clones were also designed to be capable of creative thinking, making them far superior to battle droids. Essentially, the Kaminoans were able to create a large force of mature, capable, and fierce warriors in a very short number of years. And by 22 BBY, after the eruption of the First Battle of Geonosis, clone troopers began to fight side by side with their commander Jedi Knights and Jedi Masters against the Separatist Alliance and their army. As the Jedi and clones began to fight alongside each other, what did the clones' presence in the Force feel like to the Jedi? In the canon anthology book, The Clone Wars Stories of Light and Dark, my homeboy Yoda explains how the clones felt to him when reaching out to them with the Force. According to Yoda, the clones' minds and emotions were strong, yet their presence in the Force reminded the Jedi Master of children. In part, this was due to the fact that the clones weren't ordinary humans. Because of the modifications made to Jango Fett's genetic template that was used for their creation, the clones had been altered from birth in the labs on Kamino, and they were essentially engineered like machines. Since their growth rate had been drastically accelerated to allow for them to be ready to fight by 22 BBY, the clones were essentially still children. For instance, a clone that was manufactured in 32 BBY would have been 10 years old during the first battle of Geonosis in 22 BBY. However, their accelerated growth rate allowed for them to age fast enough so as to be ready to fight for the Galactic Republic. This is why the clone's presence in the Force reminded the Jedi Master of children. According to Yoda, he felt this difference in the clones the moment he stepped aboard a gunship on Kamino at the beginning of the Clone Wars. This was something that Yoda pondered about broodingly as he knew that the clones, who were made by the millions to be disposable, were still essentially children, at least in terms of their presence in the Force and the number of years that they had been alive for. When you stop and think about the fact that not only were the Jedi participating in a galaxy-wide conflict that brought death and destruction, but also that they were essentially using clones who are technically the same age as children, it makes you reconsider the Jedi Order, their morals, and who they were during the time of the Clone Wars. The Jedi commanded clone troopers that were essentially children, at least in terms of their presence in the Force, took part in a conflict that was disastrous in so many ways and helped lead to the rise of the Sith. Kinda wild to think about. Nevertheless, clones definitely had a unique presence in the Force, one in which Yoda believed was similar to children. But what do you guys think? And what's your thoughts on the clones' presence in the Force? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.